So today we're going to talk about how you can set your alarm system to turn on all the lights or even have them blink when your alarm get activated. For this, you're going to need the IFTTT app. Okay, so like I said, for this, you're going to need the IFTTT app. So if you don't have it already on your mobile device, then you might want to download it and let's get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the app and then it's going to come up and all you have to do is scroll down to the bottom where it says get more. Once you get to get more, then you want to click that plus sign. First thing you want to do is click that first plus sign and then you want to search for your security system. Now there's different kind of security system that works with the IFTTT. You got a bow, you got ring, you got Arlo, you got Ness, and you got Scout Alarm. So if you have any other system beyond that, there's no guarantee that it'll work with IFTTT. But you can always check to make sure that it will work with your system. So let's get in here. First thing we're going to do is search for the security system. Mine is made by a boat. So there it is. Now on this list, you got a bunch of stuff that you can choose from when the doors open, when the garage doors close, stuff like that. But the one we're looking for is alarm activated. So we're going to click on that one and then we're going to go down to the next plus sign. So now what we want to do is have the lights blink on and off. You can have them turn on, you can have them change colors based on what your smart bulb is capable of doing. So I'm going to have mine blinks on and off because it's going to bring attention to my house if the alarm goes off, especially at night. First, I'm going to go find my U lights because I have two sets of lights. So there's my U lights. And on this list, I can do a whole bunch of different stuff too. So there it is. The one I'm looking for is toggle lights on and off. So there it is. And then I'm going to select all my lights. So I want every single light in my home to blink on and off. And that goes for inside and out. Click continue. And now this routine is going to turn on all my U lights on and off and it's ready to go. I can choose to receive notification, but I don't need that because my alarm is already going to notify me that it's being activated. So I'm going to click finish and now I'm going to add my second set of lights, which is Philips, but these are powered through the Wiz app. So if you haven't seen that video yet, go ahead and check it out. So I'm going to click the plus sign again because I got to make sure that when the alarm is triggered, that it's going to turn on the Wiz bulbs. So let's click the plus sign and then we're going to search for a bulb again. When the alarm is activated, another plus sign. Then we're going to search for the whiz bulbs because those are the ones that I have in my setup. There it is. I'm going to do the same thing again with these bulbs. I want them to toggle on and off. I'm going to choose which lights, which is all the lights in my studio. And now this routine is ready to go also. So I have two routines running to trigger my lights if the alarm get activated. So we're going to click finish. So now that I'm back into my routine setups that I have already, because these are the ones I already have set up my account, I'm going to go to the one that says abode just to make sure that the routines that I just set up are listed on my account. So as you can see, there it is. It says if the alarm is activated, it's going to toggle the studio lights on and off. And there's the other one that says if the alarm is activated, it's going to toggle the lights on and off, which is all my other lights. So there you have it. So if my alarm gets activated, it's going to toggle the lights on and off all the lights because that will drive more attention to my home versus the light just coming on. And it looks just like everybody else's lights in the neighborhood. But if the lights are blinking on and off, it looks strange and that's going to drive attention to my house. So if you have one of those smart security systems that attaches to the IFTTT service, then you might want to add this routine to your smart home setup to drive that attention to your home if the alarm get activated. Now this currently only works in the IFTTT app. So if you're trying to do it within your Amazon Assistant app, it's not going to work because the app is not capable of doing that kind of stuff. The other routine that I made the other day that showed you how you can have her say when the door is open or closed and include in the window, that's the only limit of what she can do within that app. So anything else that you're trying to do, you can possibly do it within the IFTTT app. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. If this routine is something that's helpful to you, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I want to thank you for taking the time for watching it. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.